This episode of The Direction is brought to you by South Carolina 811. Know what's below. Call before you dig. I gotta say, this might be a little comfortable. Right? Uh, somebody let me know when my cork goes under, if you don't mind. <laughs> there you go. Now that a hey, fire drill charter's right here, people. You gotta run around the boat. Hey, check him out, Mark. There's a manatee up by the boat. This lady knows how to fish. The wind blowing, you can stay in shore and still have some fun catching fish. So, you know, you don't always have to be out on the big water to catch, you know, fun fighting fish. I'm just glad to catch one. You guys have been wearing me out. Everyone has a story. Sometimes it's about catching monster bass. Now that's a studly, mudly baby. And sometimes it's about life's lessons. Every story is as unique as the person who tells it. So join us as we make some new friends, reunite with some old ones, catch a few fish, and share a story or two. I'm Mark Stowe, and this is The Direction. Fire Drill Charters, based out of Nokomis, Florida, has been a blast to fish with for Mark Stowe and his friends. They are some of the best in the game when it comes to catching the giant Goliath grouper out in the deep water. But sometimes the weather plays a hand in things, and that's when it pays off to be fishing with a charter who is able to adjust to the conditions and still put you on fish. With the high winds keeping them inshore, Mark and Misty Wise of South Carolina 811 are going to be targeting inshore fish with fire drill charters. All right, folks, this week we're going to be in Nokomis, Florida, and we are down here with Captain Mike Kale and Captain James Krutz. They have a charter service, fire drill charters, and Mike's kind of got a neat story of how he got into the guide business. Uh, he's been from Michigan to Florida. We're going to be joined by Misty Weiss and my good friend Terry McWilliams. And you all, we're going to go do a little saltwater fish catching. So how many years have you been guiding in between chartering up in Michigan and this? Total of about 18. 18? So how'd you go from excavating and got over into the guide? Well, I, I've always been real interested in fishing. I fished the FLW walleye circuit for a while, not very successfully at all. I couldn't run my business and be gone the time it took to do that. I didn't know that till I tried it. And uh, I just wanted to be in the, in the industry somehow. And I like to, I particularly like to troll. So I got to messing with the salmon and and uh, did pretty good as an, as an amateur and uh, got my license and started guiding. And I, I went from there. Just found the liking Yeah, for I it. just liked it a lot. Yeah, I still like it a lot. Enjoy pe getting people out and teaching them a little bit about fishing yep. or just watching them catch fish I and the excitement. Both, but I like to watch them catch fish. I, it is. I, that would be my, that would probably be my, yeah. um, I love to watch people I'd mother, catch I'd fish. I'd rather watch them than catch them. You know, I just, just me. Most of the time in the Great Lakes, that was the biggest fish they've ever caught in their life. You know, they're big lake trout, big, big uh, king salmon, and uh, and they just get a, they just get a charge. I come back all year after year after year, vacation there. That was fun. It wasn't the weather, that's for sure. <laughs> jack on the jerk. The jack on the jerk. Now, see Terry, if we'd had one more of them yesterday, you know what that is. That's Goliath bait. Right, well, you're chumming everything out there too, so. There you go, uh -oh. now What's double up there? here. Uh-oh. There you go, oh. Is that trout? Mm -hmm. Looks like a trout. Yep, I can't get him nope. in. look at that. Oh, he gone. Oh. Never happened. He gone. Never. Let me tell you something. When you're pond fishing up there, you, son, you, you got to learn how to use the luxuries of life. You know, this is a luxury craft. Unlike my bass boat. I mean, I might have ranger boats written on my jacket and my shirt and that, but this is a luxury craft right here. 
You sit here, you hold your float, prop your feet up. This segment was brought to you by Power Pole Swift, Silent, Secure. This segment is brought to you by Jinko Fishing. It's all about the action. This is our second day out with Fire Drill Charters. Yesterday, Terry McWilliams and I went out deep and were able to catch the elusive Goliath grouper. There he goes, there he goes. Get him, 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 him. You got him. Oh my Lord, how much. That was a blast. So today, we're gonna stay in shore and Misty Weiss with South Carolina 811 is gonna be joining us to do a little inshore fishing. And we're gonna be catching everything from Jack Gravels, the ladyfish, and who knows what else. I gotta say, this might be a little comfortable. Right? Uh, somebody right. let me know when my cork goes under, if you don't mind. Don't want to get right on them and spook them out. So I'm gonna back look at the birds. Look at the birds bombing them. Whoa! What in the world is that thing? I don't know what this thing is. It's coming around this way. No, it's coming this way. What is it? Right here. Yep. Coming at you, miss. Yep. Boy, they going. Where you at? Look at it. Yeah. What in the world? What did you get? Did you say it's a tuna? No. Jack Crevel, yeah. that's what we were using for bait for them glass, right? Yep, except we didn't have one. Nice. Look at that. Pounder. We had to call it a 100, 500 pounder. That thing runs like a bullet. Oh yeah, they're tough. And that thing was booking. They are. <laughs> I understand, yes. Exactly what I said. You're fun to catch. You got him, Terry. Yep, go, go, go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, good job. There he went. You got two on? Mark's got another one. Hang on to him, Terry. <laughs> Come on, Misty, hook up there. Look at that thing, it's just running. We're doing a little inshore fishing today, and I'll tell you what, when the action gets going, it gets going. Terry, Terry getting mad at him. They call this a canal tuna, it's a Jack Crevel, right? Not too good eating, but let me tell you, they're fun really. Keep hitting all, all the time. Right. You know, there there he comes. Group, so. Back up here somewhere. You've got to watch for him. Remember what I said about fork tail? Yep. Anything with a fork tail is going to pull like crazy. And they go quick. Mm -hmm. Real fast. I mean, shoot. That's fun, you know? All right. So all them fish come in, started busting. We seen them a minute ago with some birds. And them fish were underneath. Just having it. a bad day today, that man. Popping cork and that shrimp out there. Give it a good pop. Boom, they hit that shrimp. When they take off, they go. Uh, James over here said that they're the canal tunas, and uh, but it's called a Jack Crevel, and that fish darts like a bullet. Uh, the wind blowing, you can stay in shore and still have some fun catching fish. So, you know, you don't always have to be out on the big water to catch, you know, fun biting fish. get caught out on the lake without your favorite bait. So why would you get caught digging without calling 811?
Are you getting ready to start your own digging project? Be sure to call 811 and get your underground utilities located. It's the law and it's free. Here, try this. This segment is brought to you by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Mike, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna come over in between you. Where's Perry at? One just busted right in front of us, right? I got, I'm there's, on it, I'm right here. There it is. There, he is. there you go. Here, get out of your way. Oh shoot, is he gone? Dang it, Mark, where are you at? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna move, that's what I'm gonna do. Man, I don't know where you keep spinning left or right, so I don't know where he's at. I'm gonna run it. A little bit of chaos going on. Fire drill, people, fire drill. Now that, hey, fire drill charters right here, people. You gotta run around the boat. Pass by you. Just here, you letting that fish no, rest or I'm, what? I'm spinning the wheel. I don't know where he's going, but I'm just, I'm in, not in charge here. I'm not in charge. Here he is, Yeah, but he's around the motor. Yeah, he is. Hang on. No, he's not around the motor. He's, yeah, he is. Yes, he, yeah, is. he is. Yeah, he is. And I'm going to break the line if I. Yeah. Go back, go back uh, to the motor. Oh. Whose bobber is that then? It's mine, but he spun around the motor yeah, and he was right there. around the motor to be back over this way. I got it, I got it. Maybe not. I don't know. In the prop. Okay. Is it hand line time? Put it up some more, Terry. <laughs> God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? There you go, hand line. There you go. Look at her. You're going to finish this. Huh? Yeah, look at here. That was a team yeah. effort. You said you wanted a hand line one for you. Did I? I don't no. remember that part. Yes, I hear I'm you. just glad to catch one. You guys have been wearing me out. So he's named yeah, this charter it. service fire drill. And do you understand why now? Yep. I mean, fish in the prize. <laughs> well played, Terry. Hand well done, bud. Terry's got to grab the rod. I mean, oh my goodness. this is what you call a mess waiting to happen. <sighs> All right, let me Good get stuff. it. Good stuff. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Well, it's been kind of fun today, a little different. Um, we did a little inshore fishing today um, because of the wind, of course. And we caught some jack curvels, some ladyfish. ladyfish. You know, but it really is kind of funny that we come out here, Misty, because you promoting the safe digging message and him being an excavator, me a landscaper. I didn't know Mike was actually an excavator at home in Indiana. And so me and him over the last couple of days have actually talked about the importance of, uh, you know, calling before right. we dig or contacting 811, whichever way you want to do it, whether it's internet, whether it's over the phone, whether it's some states, I guess, got apps even. Yep. So, ever how they got to do it, but they got to do it because That's it's it. a law. And you know what else? It's free. That's right. It's important. That's what else. Hey, I like it. It's important. Y'all like got even more pipeline up north. Really, though, we used to call it, yep. either called it, we, we never talked about it, 811, or holy moly, we just had to call our locates in, or dig, or call our dig line, you know. That's what it was. Y'all used, call call dig, dig, used to call them dig tickets a lot. Yeah, I yes, think. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I. That's what I just. That's what came out. You know, I, I know we we don't ever even think about it. So on that note, we gave a good lesson to everybody, and now we're going to the house to eat supper, and we'll be back for some we're sheep just, head we're footage just in the morning for the, till the fish fry. So one thing about saltwater fishing and hanging out with Captain Michael where it's Here's the fresh fish we caught. We got Mike's homemade batter right here. He said he makes up his own batter. Oh my, look at that golden brown fish. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Oh my. Burn my finger here in a minute. I am mighty hungry. We actually caught these fish. That's the good part about it. Well, you know. 
But won't you guys get choked on something? <laughs> Oh, get you so bad. Mm. Really any good? Mm. No. Peace out. He's going to you guys his basket next. I like giving Terry raw oysters. You're only going to have raw oysters. I got my tonight. plate. You guys get yours now. <laughs> we better say something. I'm going to eat some of that other stuff. I want to see you eat that ceviche. What's ceviche? Raw fish. Oh, no. I'm out. Oh, yeah, you'll like it. Ooh, is this your ceviche right here? Ooh. Looking good, and what kind of fish we got in it? Snapper for this. Snapper in it? Probably yellowtail, mangrove. You know, it's kind of fun. You go out, you get to catch the fish. Somebody else filleted the fish. They mix up the own, own homemade batter, their own homemade ceviche in there. And all I gotta do is pull up to the house and we get to eat it. I mean, that don't get no nicer. Just like being at home. Your mom cleans them, Jill cooks them, and you eat them. Mike, you're just like my family at home, man. That was good. I like that. All right, so Mike, we're back aboard the boat this morning. And I guess our target is going to be we're going to go catch some sheep's head. Am I right? Yes, sir. And we are headed south. Is that headed, where we're headed? Yes, we're Come headed to the Boca Grand. Down to Boca Grand. And Misty, you gonna catch you some fish that have a mouth or a, teeth, or a mouth full of teeth that look like us? They're gnarly. Funny are they gnarly? Yeah. Human looking teeth. They're yeah. gnarly. All right, so, so that's our target today. Yeah, it kind of looks like whipping around. I got something. I don't know what it is. It ain't very big. I don't think it is, but I don't know what it is. I don't think it is. It looks like a jack or something. It's shiny. Nope, it is. Hey, now. How about it? This, this lady knows how to fish. How do you want me to get him in here? Told me to catch a sheep's right head, and she catches a sheep's head. All there right. you go. I've been Appreciate it. This is my new lucky rod. <laughs> Terry hooked me up. I want to see their teeth. Oh, there it is, right there. Is the it? Top. Hey, check him out, Mark. There's a manatee up by the boat. He's right here. He'll, he oh, might try. To, he might try to tip the boat over. <laughs> He's looking at that shrimp you got dangling there. Yes, he is. My guess is he was fed. I thought it was rock for a second when he, when he started moving. He just eating all around the boat. Look at him. Remember, don't set the hook. Miss him every time. Uh oh. I think that's a good game. Yeah. Now I just want to know if it's a sheep head or not. No, mangrove. Wrong critter. Look, the old manatee comes up and says, I see what y'all are doing, but we don't eat fish. You don't eat fish, buddy. I ain't got nothing for you to eat. That's pretty cool. You know, you're catching fish and a manatee's right underneath you. That is like good stuff. There you go. You done made friends with the manatees. Shot there. Boy, a little further got him some teeth though. Get the choppers on that. Be a sheep's head, baby, be a sheep's head. All right, watch it. Nope. Hey, no, it's I not it's a snapper, I think. Mangrove snapper. Another mangrove. Yeah, another mangrove. These are side effects of sheep's head fishing. 
They ain't terrible. They, they hang out in the same place yeah. all the time. Now it's time for your safe digging moment of the week, brought to you by 811. Always remember to call before you dig. Our 811 moment of the week is one of those moments, well, when you know where you're going and you know what you're doing, but you're all standing around talking and not paying a whole lot of attention, well, things happen. We were cruising along down the boat canal and all of a sudden, well, the channel marker was on the opposite side of the boat it was supposed to be on, and guess what? We ended up on a little sandbar. Well, we've come to a minor stop. Yeah, that was Every time Terry and me go somewhere, this happens. <laughs> a funny moment. Captain Mike wasn't as happy about it, but it all worked out in the end. This is one of those shows that you just enjoy the folks and enjoy the fishing. The fishing was great and the friendships made are even greater. Captain Mike, Captain James, Misty Weiss coming down to join us, and of course my great friend Terry McWilliams. We all hung out had a great couple days of fishing, ate some great food, and told some fun stories and just created great memories. And folks, that is what fishing is all about. The direction is brought to you by 811. Know what's below, call before you dig. We would also like to thank these fine partners. Closed captioning is brought to you by USA North. Call 811 before you dig.